Hello and welcome back to Vox Mundi! We're playing as the Fraticelli Papacy and not the Mamluks as it might seem. We have just annexed Panduanadu and this single province here cost almost all of our admin power to core. That is insane. We are mm, sending a missionary to uh, the Maldives while we are waiting to have enough admin power to core it. Let's see here. Let's found an Indian trade company, shall we? 200 ducats and another merchant. Global trade power plus 5%. And uh, we'll use that merchant here. Collect from trade. Guntram Wolfram. Actually, do we have two not doing anything? Is this out of our... Oh right, we don't have a core here yet. But seriously though, we do have a core here. Right? So, where is our island again? It's uh, here. No, it's out of our range? Closest core province or port where we have fleet basing rights. Okay. I thought we would have uh, a port in our own province. Maybe it is because we... We have it in a trade company. Seems to not be the case. So let's add it to the trade company for now. Odd though. Really odd. Hmm. Oh well. Well, well. Guess it doesn't really matter. Well, it matters a little bit. It's money. In any case. Oh right, we have enough money to build the last um, customs house we need back home. In, uh, let's see where it is. Go ahead, kill. Or it might not be the last one. We need road networks. And uh, even a trade depot here and there, I think. Yeah, let's build another one. Come on, one more tick. There we go. Awesome. Need that trade power. To get those trade ducats rolling in. Right, so the Mamluks are fighting Tuangu and Shampa. How well are they faring? Well, their manpower is being drained, but they've built up to, um, well, not their force limits, but they've built up to 43,000 men again. We need to um, pounce on them if... Uh, or at least we need to pounce on their ally if, if they lose enough troops. By the way, I really love that Sistan actually cleaned up their borders here, because they... Uh, because uh, Samarkand was all over this place, and now it looks much better. I just hope that the Sindhi nationalists do not succeed. By the way, it seems like Great Baghdad has started to annex all of Northern uh, Africa. In an interesting turn of events, to rival Great Moravia itself. Sibir, on the other hand, is having problems with Sunni Silots. A very interesting plague. They might even be flipped. They are uh, attacking Korea, and in turn they're also attacking Sheng, which is uh, the big problem, I believe. The Maldives! Right. Let's go and do something about that, shall we? Get over there. Kill them. Awesome. Get back. And into uh, Madurai. Hmm, Madurai. Hmm. Alright, the missionary is soon done, on courtesy of us being a theocracy. And having full religious ideas. We will immediately core it after that. 37 months. Okay. How bad is the revolt risk around there, I presume... Oh, it's not bad? Zero percent? Oh, because we crushed one recently. Right. Um, no, actually not. Ooh, mercantilism. Yes, please. So, we can build a few more trade places. Let's do just that. Some uh, canals. And a uh, road network. Increasing that trade power. Would uh, Castile ever join in a war here? No. Well, we'll see if their attitude changes with time. 
Meanwhile, we'll plan our uh, sneaky attack on Ceylon or the Mamluks. Right, the Mamluks, are you... Alright, oh, so their manpower is being decreased, but they still have 49,000 men. How much does Tuangu have? Tuangu has 17,000, and Shampa... Shampa, 30,000. So it feels really weird planning a sneak attack on a nation you've played yourself, but uh, I guess it's part of the, the game here. Seville declared war upon Brunei. That's a random thing to do, isn't it? That means they're fighting Sheng, and Sheng is currently fighting only Seville, because Sibir finished their war with Korea and took a hefty chunk. Now they just have to fend off their own Sunni rebels. Hmm, bad reputation. Not good. Not good at all. Vinland declared war on Sheng with overseas expansion. Alright, will we see a Viking China? It's more likely than you think. Right, so... The Mamluks are losing. But they have more troops than ever. Okay. Might, must be hiring uh, mercenaries. No, 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 someone died. Damn it, was it our diplomatic dude? Oh, right, we have another one. Wait, he's a level two. Oh, let's go for trade efficiency instead. And sure, pass through our land. Okay, so, what do we want here? Administrative ideas? No. Civil service is useless. Goods produced nationally. This is all crap. Humanist. Not something we need at all. I think I'll, I'll uh, save it for quantity or something. Maybe even naval, to be honest, because we're kind of a naval power. We don't have the military points to make use of it yet, though. So let's not. Um, no, I don't want to give you military access, Seville. I'm sorry. I would like you to fail, so we could attack you. And your Sevillan Kajamarka would still not join. Damn you. Fighting in another war. You are fighting Valoi. Ooh, that's a hefty undertaking, isn't it? And Sheng. Wait, are you allied to Seville? No, you're not. Good. You're fighting Yemtland. Seriously, though. Great Moravia. You've expanded into Italy even more by destroying Pisa, it seems. Man, Great Moravia, they want to unite uh, Europe. Win, win, win. Phew. Sure, Shane, I'll give you access. Right, so the revolt risk here is 16.2. Soon we will uh, convert this as well after it is cored. Thus reducing the revolt risk significantly. We do have maxed uh, army maintenance, right? Yeah, we do. Right, we're earning quite a bit of cash. Let us continue building trade buildings at home. Then slowly migrate over to doing the same in our colonies. Though still, you're without... You're... Mm, I don't like this. 527 away from our closest core province. Well, that's a lie. Because this is our core province. Damn it. Well, okay. Okay. I hope this counts as our core province, though. Otherwise, we do get some extra range. No, actually, we don't. We already have the range. Damn it. Too bad. Well, our core is almost done. That's good. All right, let's see. The Mamluks are losing. 45,000. Yes, lose, lose more. Uh, 72 months. Can we get a missionary? No, we do not have a missionary. Unfortunate. So now it's 20%, but it's still 120 to harsh treat. That is insane. Well, let's see here. 
We still have uh, way over our army force limits because uh, these provinces give nothing to our force limits. This is being cored and doesn't give us any revolt risk. Awesome. Alright, so now you've peaced out. That's actually too bad. Uh, yeah, I cannot attack you when you have 39,000 troops with when our tech difference is... It's actually quite hefty. Hmm. I am unsure. We probably could. We probably could. By hiring some... Uh, some mercenaries. The question is, should we? How good are your generals? Let's see, where can you see generals? It should be here somewhere. Not buildings, obviously. Military. Um, I think it's called, like, best leader of the world or something. Yeah, here it is. Country! There we go, the Mamluks. You have a four fire general. That's actually quite bad. For us, that is. The thing is, we do have holy war on you. You're ally to Hamadan. Ceylon, though, you're only ally to the Mamluks. You do not have a war. Of course, valley on you. Could fabricate a claim, though. Fabricate a claim here as well. On uh, Venad. Question is, could we ally, like, Sistan? No. But one of the Christian nations, maybe? Seems unlikely. Because of distance between borders. Again! Oh well. I guess that we'll have uh, more opportunities to attack the Mamluks, hopefully. Might even build up, build up a large army here and just go to town on them. Take quantity as our last idea, and and yeah, maybe. Uh, local defensiveness, sure. We have been discovered while fabricating a claim on Ceylon. Well, gee. By the way, is this out of our range? This is not out of our range. We will collect from here. And Bengal is not out of our range either. Which means that we will transfer from there. Alright. Finally, they can start working. I'd really like Ceylon. It's an important center of trade. Could you... Would you ever accept uh, protectorate sta status? You're too technologically advanced. Well, I'd say no. You're not too technologically advanced. You're the opposite of that, even. Right, are we earning any more ducats? Yes, indeed we are. I see a visible difference. Even though it's just a few, it's still something. Oh, and we should start building... Uh, trade buildings. Alright, so we have a missionary and a core process already in the works here. It's too bad. Too bad that you can't do those things um, at the same time. Right, so the Mamluks... Probably regained all of their manpower by now. Or most of it. With their Mamluks... Uh, you don't have any manpower. 46,000 men though is a bit much. It's a bit much. No one is in a coalition against you. Alright, the Maldives. Finally, you're part of me. Well, alright. This is awesome. So the Maldives are pretty much um, revolt-free for uh, the next 10 years. Madurai, on the other hand, still a hefty chance of uprisings here. But the missionary is working along. Oh, but we can uh, build a mark. It already has a market. All it needs is a customs house. Really? I think we'll build those at home first. Post offices. Yeah. Post offices. We can actually build a customs house as well. Uh, don't want to build anything there because it's apparently too far away from us to trade in. Right, let's build it here. 
increase our trade potential. And we'll keep the maintenance of our army topped off because of potential revolts. Seville and Kajamarka, no. No. Oh, Seville has regained some territory from Castile. That's, uh... Not exactly what I expected. I like the fact that Scotland is... Is still free. I also like that Antalam Faith is still around. Those Irish Sunnis. They can take a beating. Land force limits modify. Yes, please. Uh, th this means that we're within... No. Alright, we gained one from that. That's absolutely useless. We might have wanted to build uh, military buildings here to increase our force limits, but then again, it's not exactly something that would make us able to field a large army in any case. Well, alright. Mamluks. Kjochlochlan is taking stuff back from uh, Jämtland. Oh, it's because Great Moravia has chewed into Jämtland. Damn you, Great Moravia, you're insane. Uh, no, absolutely not. Does this lower our relations? No. Well, uh, let's uh, improve relations with them again, because we don't want to lose them as our ally. Quite handy to have, if you ask me. Uh, prestige. Don't need that much prestige. Actually, we do. It gives us trade power, right? Doesn't it? Global trade power. Yes, indeed. Can we get... Uh... No, we don't have a prestige guy. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Alright, Mamluks. I'm a bit afraid of you. Just a bit. You're all like to shame. How dangerous is Shane? Very dangerous. Okay then. Sabir has not flipped from the rebels. That's good. <laughs> Valoy has this little thing here. So, where else? Anglia, maybe. No, you're all, you're allied to Seville. That's too bad. Alright. Hmm. Makassar is a protectorate of Seville. Yeah, I think uh, I think we'll have to lay low for a while. Still do not want that. I'd much rather have the last trade idea. Which would give us national trade income. And another merchant. Awesome. I'll make good use of that. And we can get a mission. Create a fortress in Carthago. Definitely something we could do. Uh, these both give the same thing. So let's build a fortress in Carthago. Can build a lonely trade building here. I said I wouldn't do that, but let's do it anyway. Right, are you still out? Let's see here. Are you outside of my trade range because this island is too far away from where the node actually is here in the Philippines? I actually think that might be why. Or is it because... No, I, I know of this node. Hmm. Weird. Right, our buildings are closing in on completion. Still earning loads of ducats. Even though we're way over force limits. And you are converting this. Is this uh, Jane? I think this is Jane. No. Oh, monthly progress of 0, 0.0. Awesome work there. When you have other things to convert, you still don't. Well, our missionary is uh, well on the way. Even though this is a tough nut to crack when it comes to convert conversions. Alright, let's get the last trade idea. And where do we want to place the last merchant here? I don't really have any power anyway. So let's just transfer from here. Might do something. 
And we're instantly earning more money. Around four ducats. Right, another mission. Create a proper fleet. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see here. Holy crap. Did our force limits just more than double? Oh, it must be because of our uh, colonies. Yes, what shall we do with this? We have potential here. We can build three deckers or great frigates. Let's go for frigates. Actually, can we build some docks somewhere? Grand shipyards. Yeah, let's build a few grand shipyards. We can only build one grand shipyard. Because we don't have any admin power. Okay, let's save up some admin power. Before we build all of these ships, let's make sure we have the best infrastructure possible. Even here. Yep. Looking good. Well, Alright, our income is awesome. Don't want to lose any stability. Not right now. I'd much rather lose um, money when we're earning so much of it. Alright, so you're not fighting anyone. And you're allied to Ceylon and Hamadan, but not Sistan. Sistan looks really good, by the way. Oh, so Shagatai and Mongolia are facing the Wrath of Sibir. Wait, Manchu? Manchu must have revolted from Sibir. There's no other reason. Confusion, eh? Well, okay. That's too bad of um, the AI. It rarely holds on to whatever it uh, conquers. It can spend all of its power conquering something and then just lose it in a rebellion immediately. Um, try to negotiate. And, right, we managed to convert this. Awesome. So now we barely have any revolt risk here anymore. Might even lower that even further by uh, building a courthouse. Oh, it already has a courthouse. Well then. Um, we cannot build a... Tr what do we have here, really? Buildings. Oh, it has a college. Local revolt risk, local tax modifier, spy defense. Does not have a cathedral, though, but a cathedral is quite unnecessary, I'd say. You want to destroy the college? Well, not now. I'll keep it around until we have an excessive amount of money lying around. Do you want to boost that? Nah, let's go for advanced production. Sounds awesome. And we're closing well in on the last... Uh, few years of the game here. I'm not sure if I'll actually have time to switch to a new nation or not. Because I'm finally having some fun with the papacy. Now when we're able to expand. Hmm. My gut feeling here is that we should save up an, a, an exorbitant amount of money and then attack the Mamluks. That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm thinking here. If they uh, face another war, we should be able to do that without any problems at all. Take uh, both them and uh, Ceylon, potentially. Let's fabricate another claim. Do we have anything here that we'd like? Oh yes, Koshin. Definitely Koshin. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.